Happy Easter, First Kids. I hope you guys had a wonderful Easter. I know that I did. I miss being with my family, and I miss being with you guys here at church. But it was a good day because Jesus has risen. And we got to eat lots of candy, didn't we? Today, we're going to continue to talk about Easter. You have with you a paper like this that has the 12 symbols of Easter on it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and we're going to talk about each one of those symbols that represent something that happened either the week before Easter or on Easter Day. The very first thing that happened is Palm Sunday. Remember on Palm Sunday, Jesus arrived riding on a donkey and the people all thought that he was a king that had come to save them. And so they were waving the palm leaves and they were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. And then they would throw the palm leaves down on the ground for the donkey to walk on. Later on that week, Jesus went to have supper at a friend's house. And while he was there, a lady who was full of sin come into the house and she brought with her a, a bottle of perfume and she broke the bottle and she poured the perfume on Jesus's head and then she cried and cried and then took his hair her hair and wiped his feet with them she knew that he was Jesus and that he would forgive her for all her sins then during the Passover meal later that week Jesus had the last supper with the the disciples and he told the disciples to remember that the bread represented his body that was given for them and that the wine represented his blood that was given for them then later on that night he went up to the top of mount olives to the Gethsemane park and there he prayed to god and he asked god why he had to suffer because he knew he was going to suffer for you and i but he also told God that if it was God's will, that he would do it. On that very same night, Judas, one of his disciples, betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. He went up and he kissed Jesus on the cheek so that the soldiers would know who they were supposed to arrest. Now the soldiers were making fun of Jesus and they mocked him and they said, since you are the king we're going to make you a crown and they made him a crown of thorns and they placed it on his head jesus was hung on the cross with three nails one for each one of his hands and one for his feet and while he was on the cross the soldiers down at the bottom were placing bets using dice to see who was going to get to win and who would get Jesus' clothing. And as he hung on that cross, Jesus died. And when he died, the ground began to shake and there was thunder. And in the temple, the curtain that separated God from the people, it split and cracked like this egg. Jesus was then taken and was put in a tomb, and a huge rock was rolled across the front of it to cover the opening. And yet on Easter morning, when Mary Magdalene come to find him, the rock was gone, and the tomb was empty. There was nothing there. Jesus had risen. How exciting is that? And this is such exciting news. So you need to take and share this news with other people whether you just tell them the story of Easter or maybe you take your symbols that you're coloring and you're going to share it with other people. But that is the best thing is for us to share how awesome Easter is because Jesus rose from the dead. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that your son came to save us and that he rose from the dead on Easter morning so that we could be forgiven, and so that we might be in heaven with you. In your name, amen. Happy Easter, First Kids.